93 three point. So Glenn Rice three point is better. He has a better, he has a 97 three point. So I won, I won already. I might as well stop opening these. I got, I got who I got and I got, I got right. I think I got right. I mean, I popped Glenn Rice. I think I got right out of here. 94 overall Glenn Rice. I should just let it go. Out of full throttle though, I wanted this Bron Bron, but I'm not tripping. I'm really not tripping. 89 three point shot. You know, three point shot is king for me. Three point shot is king for me. So I kind of did what I did. I'm actually running with this, uh, with this Yao Ming. Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming is pretty good for a 7'6, seven, 7'6 six, seven six type of guy. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. And I just so happened to pull a Wimby too, low key. But Wimby is actually series one, I think. I think Wimby was series one. Let's go through and see. Where is that's the Clippers? The Clippers got a new logo. It looks alright. It looks alright. Got the Spurs right here. Yeah, this Wimby is not too bad. This Wimby is not too bad for a seven foot four player. I'm, I mean, he's coming out here on the floor for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how y'all feel about it, but for me, just for me, let's get to it. So I'm getting to it like that right now. Um, I'm not really gonna have to. Oh, that's my alarm. My fault. I'm not cutting out the, out the video either. I mean, just y'all gonna have to. I might cut it out. Y'all might not know what I'm talking about when you actually hear this part, but I told you I would show you settings. I'm not gonna get too much heavy into these settings here. Honestly, these aren't the settings that I'm really talking about. Controller settings. I'm really on real player when I'm just grinding offline. I'm not I'm not ashamed or anything. Um, I'm playing off a of push, absolute everything. Absolute everything means that when you press left, your player is going to his left. Absolutely. That means that you don't have to worry about which direction your player is turned on the floor camera relative means that whatever direction your player is turned you will have to account for it which way he is looking which way his head is turned which way his body is turned for him to reach the direction you want him to reach or to cut off the direction you want him to cut off absolute means that when you go right your player goes right his right your left you get it i hope you get that um this is just what I'm working with. Full can, I can explain these if you want me to, but I feel like these are kind of, everybody can kind of do what they want to do with these settings. So I'm not going too heavy into those settings. My HUD, I'm not going too heavy into. The settings that I really wanted to put y'all on are these coaching settings. I'm using the Lakers playbook. I'm not really, I'm not really gonna go too far into that, but I'm talking more, more or less these game plan settings. I do run a five out. I put that on all four freelances. I don't really run plays like that. So these plays, they're up to you. You do what you want with that. The defensive settings are what I do think go the hardest. I'm not going to hold you. Coach settings go pretty hard too. I do show all my play, offensive play vision. I cut off this adaptive coach engine for my own personal reasons. You can figure out if you want the adaption, the, the ACE running for you. But the adaptive coach engine actually kind of will throw a wrench in what you want to do or switch things up. I do run team communication on freelance series is dynamic and repeat on success. That means if I run a good play, they run a play, they will run the play again. And then team cut to the basket. I call that. I put it on manual so they don't just be cutting all around willy nilly. Um, set up your on the fly lineup so that who you want on the fly, you can call to come in. You can you can set all of your your cust you can customize these this year basically your tall lineup you can you can customize your quick lineup you, I like that they put that in there but defensively what we came here for these defensive settings are going to be key for you and you being best as you can be I like to run on ball and off bar pressure tight I like to force them to the baseline and go over on on ball screens I like to go over on ball screens I like to catch heads and then I like to ice. The center is going to ice the play. I will tell you what all these mean in a second. Stay attached, always. Center hedge, catch hedge. Go over on off ball screens. I'm automatic on the post. Double team post is on manual. So I manually have to tell my team to double team in the post or on the perimeter. Switch The switch rule, I leave on auto. And then pre-rotation is on no. My players will not pre-rotate depending on what's happening on the court. Screen help rules is on no help and drive help rules is on no help. That means your players will stay at home on who they are defending. They will not try to help and leave somebody open. Cutter rules, no help. If somebody cuts to the basket, I do not want another player following them that is not their man and they leave three open on the, usually in the corner. 
and then extend pressure i leave on automatic if you put this on yes then your players will kind of run a full court press sort of kind of if you put this on no then they won't run a press but automatic means that when you do switch to a full court press they'll be there now let's cover these off ball no let's cover these screens okay go over means that your on ball defender will go over the screen every time he will not leave them open for three for ducking underneath a screen and then when you force baseline forcing baseline goes in tandem with this catch hedge with the catch hedge for the center and for the uh for the guard okay you're going to force him to the baseline which means you're covering the center of the floor and you're giving up baseline cuts but knowing that you're giving up baseline cuts you will go to stop that pressure you will put pressure on him towards the baseline force him from the middle to the baseline and then try to just stop him from getting that baseline cut going over on this screen i just told you he's going to go over my on ball defender is going to go over that screen and then hedge catch hedge will allow you to drop back down far enough so that the roller does not get rolling underneath you and you can catch him before he gets down there so basically you're giving up that mid-range jumper and you're making it easy to not give up the three-pointer so i mean look you got to keep up with me I'm, i know i'm moving fast if you want this more in depth i can get in depth okay icing the on ball center the on ball center icing the play means that just before the screen the on ball defender will jump to the middle of the floor and force the ball to the baseline that goes in tandem with force direction that's why we're forcing to the baseline in the first place so that means that your center is going to drop down and not let anybody behind him basically He's not going to let anybody behind him or to the middle of the floor. He's going to try to force everything to the sidelines so that we can contain everyone to the sidelines. The hedge for your center is basically the same thing as for the hedge for the on ball defender. He's just going to drop down and give up the mid range and give up the little jumper instead of letting instead of letting somebody hit for three or letting the screener get behind him. You know what I'm saying? He's just not going to let the screener get down or let the, the three-point shooter get out and shoot one that's just how he's that's just what the hedge is stay attached means that we'll always stay attached to your matchup that's the most important part of this defensive scheme is making sure that you always stay attached to your matchup you want your guys to always stay attached to the matchup that they're with that's the key to winning these games this way the off ball screens we're going to go over off ball screens which means we're never letting anyone underneath us and we're never letting a shooter get out for a free shot. And in this post, I leave this on automatic, the post defenders according to whatever's going on to do what we need them to do. Usually you have enough time to get down in the post and do what you gotta do though. So that's not a big deal for me. These double teams, I leave on manual because I wanna call those. I wanna be able to call those W teams. And I told you about the pre-rotations. We don't want anybody pre-rotating. We want, we want our players to stay attached to everything at all times. So when the floor gets to moving and shaking and people get to running plays, you're gonna chase your man down and stay attached to who you're supposed to be with. And when something pops off and you get beat, another player, another computer player of yours will not come away from their man and they will stay attached and not pre-rotate towards whatever's going on on the floor that may draw their attention because it's so many sets and so many is so many actions that can be ran that can call for a for a bot just to get lost in rotation and just say oh I'm going here or there and depending on what you're doing as the user you might mix up the bot and now both of us are just stuck out of the play you know what I'm saying we want to make sure somebody's covered at all times this switch rules for off ball I leave on auto I leave that on auto I'm I'm kind of Oh no, okay, no, I'm all the way I'm I'm all the way concrete with that. I leave that on auto because the switches, if it's gonna happen, it's just gonna happen. We're gonna let that happen automatically. I try not to let anyone get the switches because switches end up leaving some advantage to somebody. Somebody's gonna be at an advantage. We're giving up an advantage if we if a switch gets made. So we're just trying not to we're trying to keep the switches down. We're trying to keep the switches to a minimum. But I mean it 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 happens. It's no way for you to to always keep everything 100. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's, it's going to happen. 
you know the switch is gonna happen sometimes screen help rules no help i'm i look this is very important this is pivotal to this defensive scheme no help on a drive no help on a screen if a cutter cuts no help on a cutter and we're not extending any pressure that's just how i'm running defense if you want to run defense like me i mean hey you can <laughs> you can copy these settings you can copy these settings you know what i'm saying word for word you can copy these i'll just run through them real quick so that you can pause where you need to pause and and go back where you need to go back i did explain these to the best of my abilities i'm not the best teacher in the world but hopefully you were listening you could run this back and try to listen again remember that this freelance is in five out this is just the best way to make sure you have a spaced out floor and i mean hey go for it if you like it i love it Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.